hey there and welcome to my channel my name is alicia and i'm a certified and licensed athletic trainer in this video i'm going to be going over the exercise standing side bend and how you can modify it if necessary so let's get started real quick if you're interested in using any of these exercises in the form of a workout program be sure to go check out my website at www.iammomstrong.com now for this exercise, you're gonna need at least one dumbbell. You can use two dumbbells for this exercise or even a resistance band, um, but I'll kind of just talk through that. So you're going to start with your feet about hip width apart, maybe even a little uh, less than hip width apart. And if you have the one dumbbell, the working side will be the side that has the dumbbell. And your other hand will just go on your hip, core contracted and chest up and then knees slightly bent just because we never like to lock out a joint. And all you do is, um, you don't have to dumbbell quite to your side. You have it slightly rotated forward, more at like a 45 degree angle. And then you just run the dumbbell along your side, drawing your core inward so that you're contracting those uh, internal um, abdominal muscles. So you go down as far as you can and then squeeze your abdominal muscles on the way up. There's this side and back up like this. And we are really focusing on this opposite side is going to do a lot of the, it's going to do all of the pulling the dumbbell up. And you're working your oblique muscles with this but you really wanna make sure that you're not pushing your belly out, creating a coning effect, uh, that you're just drawing that belly button in, not sucking in, cause you don't wanna flare your ribs out. You wanna just really focus on contracting your uh, internal oblique mu or internal abdominal muscles uh, by drawing that belly button in and contracting your core nice and tight. And then making sure that you work both sides for an even workout. Now, if you have two dumbbells and you want to do it this way, you just stand with both dumbbells to the side, and then you can either work one side at a time. Um, not as common if you're going to work one side at a time, I would do one dumbbell. Um, but if you're going to alternate sides, you go down one side and then down the other side, keeping that belly button drawn inwards. And then from this side view, this is what it would look like. Now, if you're going to do this exercise using a resistance band, you are going to need a longer looped resistance band. So these smaller loops actually are not going to work as well, just simply because it's a long distance from the ground to your hand. But if you have one of the uh, longer looped resistance bands, I'll go ahead and kind of show you what it would be like. I do not have a longer looped resistance band, um, but if I did, I would place it around the bottom of my foot like this, and then you would just grab the top of the resistance band and then the motion would be the exact same. So with the longer looped resistance band, you'd be able to pull up a little higher with it. Um, it would still be looped around the bottom of the foot. And then you would do the same motion of the going down the side of your leg and back up, keeping your hand close to your thigh and really focusing on drawing your abdominal muscles in. Again, I do not have the long looped resistance band, um, so I'm just kind of trying to demonstrate the best that I can. Uh, but if you did, this bottom piece would just be looped around the bottom of your foot doing the same thing. So, I mean, you kind of can with this, but you're just really risking um, tearing the resistance band and you wouldn't want to do that. So this is kind of how that would go. Um, but again, you're going to need a longer looped resistance band to be able to do that exercise. And there you have it. That is how you do a standing side bend. Hopefully you were able to learn a little something from this video. And if you did, I would greatly appreciate it if you took a moment to like the video. And then for more exercises and how to do them properly, you can head on over to my channel and subscribe there. 
Until next time, I'll see you guys back here later. <laughs> Bye, guys.